Hi guys, it's Liz from Games and Groceries. We are finally done playing Life is Strange in chronological order. So now Adam and I are back to playing games separately. And today I'm starting Man of Medan, which I am super excited for. Um, I wanted to play when it first came out and I just completely forgot about it. And then life got crazy and then we moved and things and stuff. And so here we are. We're going to start Man of Medan. We're just going to go and do it now. Okay. Yeah, sure. I accept. Except. Oh, I have to actually scroll down. Did you guys watch that movie um, called Countdown? And um, it like, they didn't read the terms and conditions and stuff. And, um, oh, are you kidding me? And so, and like, that was like how they were supposed to know that they were going to die or something and things like that. And um, yeah, so now every time I see like accepting agreements and stuff without looking... <laughs> I always think of that movie. This is ridiculous. Okay. Let's adjust the brightness. Adjust the slider until I don't even realize there is a left image there. Image is barely visible. We're going to do the... Okay, so we're going to do that. That's creepy. Okay. All right, it says, don't play alone. Congratulations, you now have a friend's pass. The pass allows you and a friend to complete one play, play blah, blah, blah. Don't play alone, <laughs> play alone. Ah, that's scary. <laughs> All right. <coughs> New story. So, yeah, I just got off work and then I came home. Well, first I had to go and do errands and then I came home and then I ate and now I'm here. So that was my day. How was yours? Is anyone else scared? Like, I didn't realize that this was like supposed to be like that horrifying. But then like I was looking at like the pictures and descriptions today and I was like, oh, I'm a little scared. Pardon me while I adjust the mic. Ah, sorry. There we go. Sorry. Oh. I'm sad. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Oh, geez. Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey. <laughs> My goodness. Give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's what just it. happened? What's in store for me, Pop? Um, will I be rich? Tell me about my son. Oh. So, uh... When am I gonna hit the Pardon jackpot? You know, uh, and all that glitz and glamour. How I'm supposed to work this? <laughs> Bad learning mechanics. It takes it takes a little while. <laughs> um. Uh, bamboo is nice. Oh, someone out there is just an idiot. <laughs> Pick up objects. 
I see a fish. It looks like a fish? <laughs> I was right. It looks like a salamander. For getting specific. Oh, lovely. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, but traits are updated. Let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? She creeps sure. me out. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Use that to aim. Okay. I'm used to playing the PlayStation. I'm sorry. B. What? I only missed one. Have a nice day. What abs? Hey, Chuck. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. What are these traits? Oh, lovely. So I'm insecure, altruistic. Can someone tell me what that means, please? Reckless, selfish, guarded, and eager. But very, very little guarded and very little eager. Yay. I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die and he's not gonna be the character I'm playing anyway. So, yeah. Got that going for us. What the heck is in there? Watch too many, like, creepy, like, vampire type shows to not be suspicious of that box that we're clearly supposed to be suspicious of. <laughs> US 128984C270. Oh, there's many of them. Maybe it's just explosives. And that's like why there's a skull and crossbones on it. I think that usually means poison though, so. Who knows? Hey man! Hey, where's my. Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? You've been on, walking man. like two minutes. What do you mean, where's your 50 cents? Where would you have gotten 50 cents in the last 200 yards? In my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. No, really? Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig. And keep him there. <laughs> They in trouble. That's not good. 
That can't be good. I have a feeling that's gonna do something to the dead bodies and that kind of creeps me out. guy's name is Joe. That's nice. That must be the son that like was referred to when we were talking to the fortune teller. games that like ask make you do that like ask permission to um pick things up like you're gonna pick it up anyway what else am i gonna do what else were we doing down there is he alive i guess not i thought i heard breathing Oh, there's not a door there. I thought there was a door over there. This is the door. That's what I was looking for. Alrighty, I guess we're going this way. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. <laughs> what the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I definitely was expecting something to jump up behind him. Like, I'm fully prepared to be, like, incredibly jump-scared. Like, I'm prepared, but I'm also, like... <laughs> Not prepared. One time. Oh, that's not going to work. Must be a terrible soldier to not see the two of them just standing right there. I didn't do anything wrong! I didn't do anything wrong. I did that right. I told you to go that way. Was that was that? a child. door. I wonder what that could mean.
I know I'm supposed to be following the friend, but the friend's not moving. So... So I'm just gonna go this way. I see something shiny, something that's probably where I'm supposed to go. Hey, Charlie, help! Charlie. Interesting thing to Fubar wake up to. And that song. Oh. God damn. Another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? He's so nice. He's really emotionally connected to his fellow soldiers. Oh, thank God. Because I was wondering why I couldn't walk fast. So, uh... Is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look you like weren't getting a strange like feeling. Second, I told you there was a corpse in the war in the like sick a mess ward. On wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Hey, hey Chuck. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Apparently not. Why can't we just... Oh, yeah, we're on a ship. I was gonna say, why can't we just take a truck and go? I was like, oh, yeah. We're in the middle of the ocean. I'm not good at shooting. Why are there children on here? Why would you walk into that room? Hey, come here. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Charlie! Where did Charlie go? Son, he is Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Uh, 
Hello. Hello. And welcome. Thank you. To my repository. I'm not quite excited to be here, but I'm excited to be here. Happy to be here. Maybe. We'll see. I guess. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate. People really greed, curious as to why beauty, they compared this to Until Dawn. Death. Stories such as this one. I literally thought this was going to be like to Until Dawn. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Hmm. Apologies. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you and shouldn't just fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax inevitable. one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? I can agree to that. Oh, is that an actual question? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Hmm. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the hmm. moment. 
We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. Well then. Brad, witty, Alex's brother, and innocent. Alex, motivated, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, and insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to. Oh, no, I didn't, didn't want that. I didn't that. have time. I, yeah, was I had just... to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, <laughs> fair enough. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. What a wonderful brother. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought mm. I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Mm -hmm. What a lovely right, amigo. brother. Calvary's almost here. Like brother. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. <laughs> but it's been two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep. How would he know he's not there yet? Location. Yeah. Right bumper. Current objective, help Alex prepare for the trip. How has it been? Whatever. I don't understand what those things mean, but okay. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, no. what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. I don't know what these things mean. What's a bearing? Bearing updated hey. what? Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend. She's reckless and excited. Julia's brother relaxed and full hardy. Full, full. I don't know what that means. Comment down below. Tell me what that means. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss you. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? Every second. Uh, uh, that's okay. Seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. No, uh, I get seasick. Ah, uh, TBH. I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Brattleberry. 
There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. That's a bottle. Uh, fine. One. That's all. <laughs> this would be me. I can't open it. Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, never. Um, I'm gonna be honest. No, actually, never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop the cherry together. Why is he so weird? Uh, I want to look at truthful, guarded, eager, insecure, Conrad. Whatever. Who <laughs> 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 oh, Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Wow. Fliss, captain of Duke of Milan, courageous and impatient. Wow, she seems lovely. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... Could her shorts get shorter, please? So like, is everybody on board and ready to go? I don't know if it's possible. But, I mean, I'm sure they would be if she could. Uh, you're selling. I'm buying. And she's just like, okay, let's go, bye. It's a little irresponsible to take off like that. Without warning anyone. Just saying. <laughs> I made him throw That's up. It. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. <laughs> What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Well. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Yeah, okay. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Is anyone gonna get Brad? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. I don't. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Hmm. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know, the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if it was, 
A competition? I'd still do pretty good, right? Well, if you adjust for inflation, gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's All right, it. Well, Brad. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Okay, let's go down. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a everyone to have things. a good no worries, relationship. Dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I keep pressing the wrong button to look at this stuff. He's cunning and truthful. Mm. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. Oh, well, let's look at the picture, see if that's... I'm trying! Huh. What am I looking at here? That... I can't tell what that meant. It looked like we were underwater, but clearly we weren't. I hope not. Now what? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. I don't know what I'm looking at. I have no idea what that meant. I pressed A. Hi. Hey. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Oops. I don't know exactly. Well, we don't want to be pompous. Come on. You see anyone else out here? Who's going to know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop If you. I were to collect souvenirs Just or something like this, I would not be selling Don't it. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. <laughs> You might want to just let it do its thing. Too bad I turned it off. I don't think it's going to do much of anything now. Hey, guys. Tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Zing. Oh. Hey, 
Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Um. Take. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids, good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. <laughs> you ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. I didn't know this was gonna be like underwater stuff. Like I said, I don't, I didn't know much. I don't remember much about what this game was. I just heard horror game. Oh. I'm like, okay. You good? More or less. Well. She been flis so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Oh jeez, you guys are idiots. <laughs> Not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in <laughs> command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair I just enough. feel like these are their answers that she would I was just make. thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. I just turned uh, that off. You know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Let's go check on our friend downstairs. Really? Um, that's what I'm doing. Whatever. I guess it's not important. Maybe it's locked. And I'm an idiot. That doesn't look good. That does not look like a good future for me. Why do I keep these around? I don't know, because they're horrible. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. 
Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Hmm. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. They understand the rules. They get it. No, they don't. But I'm oh, not sure how much that people. actually matters to Julia. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Let's check out down here. Shroud of Innocence. Okay. I don't even know if this is her stuff or if this is like Julia's stuff. Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sunken wreck in this vicinity, over. Any tampering with a wreck, identified or not, will result in prison or fine or both. Over. <laughs> Roger that. Thank you. Over. Duke of Milan, Duke of Milan, are you reporting a finding? What is the nature of this call? Over. Um. We'll have a full report when we return to shore. Over. Reminding you that you are not to enter any wreck without an official dive dossier from the offshore relics registry. Over. Yes, sir. It's a little late for that, but okay. Let's look at her traits. Deceitful, genuine, motivated, guarded, eager, and altruistic. And she's got a great relationship with Alex and Brad. Because I made them nice. Come on. There we go. Oh. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? So probably after this confrontation, I'll, um... Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we 
We got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's You're not an a idiot. problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. That's not good. Once it gets into a frame where I can move, um, probably sign off for today. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. Okay. All right, so we're going to call it a night there. I'm sorry we didn't get anything that was too scary yet. We're just starting out and figuring out who everyone is. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining. If you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to get notified when we put out Let's Plays like this. Adam's currently playing Oxenfree, so definitely check that out. And we have our midweek speak that comes out every week and the podcast. So definitely look at those and take a look at them. And I'm going to go now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>